Eric, welcome. Again, for the information to media, Eric's name is going, going to be, appear on the COVID list at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock this afternoon from the league. So don't be surprised. That's because he's on quarantine. Donc, le nom de Eric Stahl va être sur la liste des COVID à 4-5 heures cet après-midi. C'est euh, juste parce qu'il est en quarantaine, en, en quarantaine. OK, so we'll start with the questions. Uh, we'll start with uh, Martin McGuire. Martin, you're up. Good morning, Eric. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, you had a great battle against this team uh, over the years. You had great, great games in Montreal, too. How does it, how does it feel to, be, uh, to reach this team today? Well, it feels a little bit surreal, to be honest. Um, you know, obviously, like you said, I've, I've played in this building many times and um, had some some really fun games, some competitive games. Um, you know, this is the best atmosphere in the league by far. And uh, now to be joining the group and joining the, you know, the whole uh, city, uh, being a Montreal Canadian is uh, pretty phenomenal. I'm excited. Um You know, obviously, a week's going to hopefully go by fast, but, um, you know, I'm just excited to get started with the guys and, um, you know, great opportunity for, for me to hopefully finish strong here for, for this year. Uh, recently, a few veterans uh, had success here in Montreal, uh, Kovalchuk, uh, now Corey Perry. How do you see the, uh, uh, the opportunity that you will have here? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've only talked to Dom uh, briefly and uh, and Burge as well. But I mean, like, I've told them both. I'm, uh, I just want to just want to win. I mean, I want to be out there and and uh, and win and be competitive and and try and help our, our group uh, win games, whether wherever that is in the lineup. Um, I will do what I can. Um, you no, know, I feel like um, you know I've got some game left in me, then uh, I can be a contributor. Uh, so, you know, where, wherever they have me start, I will work as hard as I can to make sure that I'm out there more than, um, you know, more than not. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's about trying to win games and, and um, that's what, uh, that's what I'm here for. I'm looking forward to. jean Lou. Hi, Eric. Uh, welcome to Montreal. Um, I'm just wondering if you find uh, some irony in uh, being a Montreal Canadian after the uh, the way that you were a Canadian's killer as a Carolina Hurricane all those years, especially in the playoffs. <laughs> it, it, it seems like uh, definitely a little bit of irony. I mean, it's amazing how fast uh, how fast these years go by. Um, you know, it doesn't feel that long ago that you know I was in here. Uh, you know, in that, that first round of the playoffs that, uh, that year and, and, and potted in the OT winner, the, uh, to kind of get the ball rolling for our group that season. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it's crazy. And, and, um, you know, the fact that now I'm, I'm a Montreal Canadian is, is, uh, is exciting. Um, it's a unbelievable market and obviously a, a phenomenal place to, to be an NHL player. So I feel grateful for that. And, and, uh, and an opportunity. So uh, I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to uh, do what I can. And, and I look forward to, uh, to the challenge. Eric, can you just clarify for us the, um, the clause in, in your, your modified no trade clause from your Buffalo contract uh, um, or excuse me, your existing contract that's uh, that had Montreal and I guess Canadian teams on your no trade list. Did that have to do with having your family uh, uh, based in Minnesota and not wanting to have to deal with a 14 day quarantine before the federal government changed it to seven? Yeah, that, that was definitely a factor. Um, you know, I just felt like 14 days um, of waiting is, is, is a long time, especially if you're going to get, you know, traded uh, in the middle of the season and to sit there and wait 14 days and then come, you know, back out and then try and get in the lineup and, and, you know, be a factor, you know, that's, you know, to be, to be honest, too, too long, um, you know, a week, um, you know, is doable. I think uh, for, for me at the, the age I am, it's a chance to, you know, recover the body and, and uh, use this as, a, as an advantage. And now, um, You know, I'm excited to uh, to be able to join this group. Uh, a lot of guys I already know on this team, and um, you know, to be able to just uh, integrate with them and um, you know, get out there and compete. Uh, that's all I want to do. So, um, hopefully, like I said, this week goes fast, and I'm excited that it's down to a week, and uh, I can um, get with the group and be excited to play. 
Simon-Olivier Laurent from La Presse. Hey Eric, uh, welcome to Montreal. Um, it's going to seem odd, but what happened with the Buffalo Sabres this year? You had, uh, and they still have a lot of talent on this, on, on this roster, and obviously it didn't work out at all. What do you feel? How can you explain what's happening uh, there? Well, the good part uh, for me right now is is I don't really need to explain. I can kind of uh, put that behind me and, and focus on you know what uh, what I can do for the Montreal Canadiens, which is which is what I'm going to try and do. Obviously, it it uh, it has been a very difficult season, um, you know, for for the Sabers and uh, for me personally there. Um, you know, I, I think there's a lot of contributing factors and I mean, I'm not going to lay them all out, uh, as far as what my thoughts are, obviously, um, you know, I know Kevin, uh, is going to do the best he can, uh, to, you know, recharge that, that organization, recharge that program and, and, um, you know, he'll do a good job, but, um, there's a ways to go. And, um, you know, for me, it's, uh, You know, having this chance to to be a Montreal Canadian and, and join this team um, with a lot of great players and a lot of talent uh, is exciting for me. And um, you know, obviously, like I said, it, it hasn't been uh, the funnest time for the last uh, number of games and, and uh, parts of the season. But um, totally get to uh, refresh and and uh, you know be excited about this new chance and start fresh uh, game one uh, when I'm back in uh, in the lineup. Um. You, you 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 spend the most part of your career in Carolina, but in the last five years, it's your fourth team. How do you live with this many changes late in your career? Yeah, uh, I mean, it hasn't been easy. Obviously, you know, I, I uh, you know finished uh, my career in Carolina with uh, with a deadline move that year, and then you know ended up signing with Minnesota, and um, you know. Four years is four years, but it goes fast. Um, you know, I was there for four, and obviously the, the change came um, this summer with uh, being traded to to Buffalo, and um, you know it didn't work out the way I had envisioned, and and now um, you know a, a, a different chance here um, in Montreal. So um, you know, it uh, this has been a weird season. Uh, my family stayed in Minnesota um, because obviously we started after Christmas and. My kids were in school and, and in sports and, and um, going about that. So um, I've been solo here for for the last couple of months, which is uh, hasn't been easy when you're with your family usually every day, um, you know, for the last number of years. So a lot of FaceTime, um, you know, a lot of uh, conversations on the on the phone with with them. But um, it's part of it. Uh, there's a lot of people dealing with a lot of other um, tougher situations and. Um, No, I'm I'm grateful that I still get to that we get to play and there is hockey and and uh, season. So uh, I'm excited to be here and um, you know we'll we'll see how this finishes and um, we'll go from there uh, after the year. Uh, Jonathan Bernier from the Journal de Montréal. Yes, hello Rick. Uh, welcome to Montreal and thanks for doing this this morning. Uh, at the start of this uh, press press conference, you said that you uh, wanted to win. So, uh, what makes you think that this team in Montreal has uh, what it takes to to win? Well, I mean, I think uh, I think the pace that they play at is is uh, is, a, is a level that uh, is successful nowadays in the NHL. I, I, I think this is a fast team. I think they they move puck quick. They transition quick. Obviously, they've got a strong back end, um, starting with Webb's uh, Petrie. I mean, they've got um, obviously great goaltending with Carey, and um, you know, just a, a balance up front that uh, you know, can come at you um, in waves. And I think uh, with the amount of games we have, the type of season it is, um, you're going to need everybody in your lineup. And um, you know, I think the way that they played in the in the bubble, obviously beating Pittsburgh, and um, You know, I, I just think uh, there's a, a lot of mix of, of uh, some some guys that have been around a while and, and understand the game and and, and uh, veteran experience, but also, you know, some youthful energy and, and um, that pace and, and play of the group is is what excites me. And I look forward to, uh, you know, obviously diving in and practice and then um, 
starting the game. So um, there's a great opportunity here, and uh, I'm going to try and take advantage of it. At this stage of your career, are you going only short term, or you can see maybe for next season? Let's say, will you just finish the season and see what's going to happen next, or you you already look for what's going to what could happen next season uh, contract wise? Uh, well, I mean, I think at this point, personally, uh, I'm going day by day, and I, I got a week of uh, on my own here, and then and then I'll uh, get with the group, but. Uh, my focus is is uh, you know getting started with uh, with this with this group and integrating in and and uh, we'll kind of see where it goes. But um, you know this is like I said before, a uh, phenomenal place to play hockey and and uh, one of the best uh, experiences as an NHL player. So um, I'm excited for for the chance. Um, hopefully, I can play well and and do well and um, and our team. Um, accumulates a lot of wins. That's what it's all about. And um, you know, just looking forward to uh, to the chance. Arpen Basu, The Athletic. Good morning, Eric. Welcome to Montreal. Thanks. Um, I don't want you to, I you know, I don't want you to explain what went wrong in Buffalo, but could you describe what impact it had on your ability to perform just the overall environment and, and when things started to sort of go south? Was it Did you find it difficult to play at the top of your game? Um, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, there's, there's so many, uh, there were so many hurdles. There were so many um, things that just didn't line up the way that uh, we had in mind or, or had envisioned. I mean, the reality is we, we started okay. Um, we had, uh, um, you know, an up and down kind of first two weeks or so, uh, we were kind of finding our game, filling our roles. And then, um, you know, we got hit with COVID and it, it uh, it went through our, our room, like, uh, like wildfire. And, and, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't great. And, and two weeks of, of guys battling, uh, that and a couple guys battling it pretty hard. It was difficult. And we, we kind of, after that, when we came back, never found any footing. And then, injuries started to mount and it, uh, you know, in that division, when you're playing teams that don't beat themselves, it's, uh, it's difficult. And we just didn't have enough, uh, in the locker room to be able to, you know, counteract that and, and manage that properly. And it got, uh, tougher and tougher, obviously. And, um, but you know, the reality is that's kind of how it went. And, um, you know, it was, it uh it's been it's been tough but you know like i said for me um you know being here now and and uh, having this chance uh, i'm excited to play some meaningful games here down the stretch and and um you know hopefully uh get in the playoffs and win a stanley cup that's what uh that's why we play and and uh being here gives me that chance so uh, i'm excited about it um you mentioned earlier how you know, wherever you are in the lineup, you just, you just want to win. And, and when you look at the lineup here, there's, you know, considerable, considerably more depth than I guess that you had in, in definitely in Buffalo and maybe even in Minnesota before that. How do you feel at this stage of your career, having uh, fewer minutes or, or, or a more balanced role, I guess, with the rest of the lineup could help you in terms of, um, I don't know, managing energy, things like that. Do you think that that's something that could work here? Um, I mean, I, I, uh, I'm a competitor. I want to play, I want to play 25 minutes every game. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's, uh, um, I mean, I don't think if you don't have that mindset, I mean, I don't know, I, you should, I mean, obviously you have to fill roles and there's, there's opportunity there, but you have to always try and push yourself to, to be at your best. But I, I think that comes with, um, you know, with, with, uh, coaches and staff and, and understanding what, what level or what amount of minutes we can get the best out of this player and this person. But, you know, for me personally, I'm always striving to, uh, to have my name called as much as I can because, uh, you know, I'm competitive. I want to play. I want to do what I can to help uh, be successful, but I also understand, you know, um, Hey, this, this night or this moment might not be mine. It might be someone else's and you need to, uh, um, be supportive and, and, uh, be a good teammate. And that's uh, what I'll do and what I have, done uh, over my career and um, 
you know, definitely, like you said, there's some depth here. There's some, some very good players. And, and for me, um, that excites me. Uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, like I said, trying to just fit in and, and, and be competitive along with them and hopefully, uh, you know, push, uh, push some guys and, and uh, push myself to, uh, to find success and, and uh, win games. Stu Cowan, the Gazette. Hey, Eric, uh, the drive from Buffalo to Montreal is about six hours. I'm wondering what was going through your mind while making that drive and what was the reaction of the Canadian border guards when they realized who you are? <laughs> uh, the border was pretty quiet. Um, it was uh, uh, just one, one, one lady working and um, she didn't really say, say much. So uh, uh, she was just uh, kind of going through the quarantine protocols and all that stuff, but uh, they're, were, they're were very nice. Um, but uh definitely uh you know crossed my mind a few times you know entering back into canada and um you know now you know being a montreal canadian and and uh you know playing hockey in canada and and all those things uh crossed my mind a number of times and um you know kind of goosebumps here and there and you know it's just uh it's gonna be fun i'm gonna embrace it i mean hey i'm at the um, you know, second half of my career and, and, um, uh, I get an opportunity to play for the Habs. So, um, you gotta, you gotta love it and, uh, enjoy it. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a great chance and I'll do my best to, uh, to be very good. You're going to be re reunited with some guys you played with before on team Canada. How much will that help you adjusting? And I imagine you've heard from some of those guys already by text or phone call. Yeah, I have. Uh, I think it'll help a lot. I, 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 I know those guys well, and um, that that helps when you're coming into a locker room. They, um, you know, they they know me as well. So um, it's uh, it's exciting for me to have you know some of that um, veteran experience already in the room, and and uh, I can just kind of come in and 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 be me and um, just fit and uh, be excited. Hopefully, bring some good energy and and um, you know excitement about. Uh, uh, getting out there. So, uh, you know, obviously some, some great talented players too, and, and guys that have won and guys that get it. And, and that, uh, um, you know, that makes me excited. So, uh, looking forward to it. Eric Engels, Sportsnet. Hi, Eric. Uh, bienvenue à Montréal. And, um, my first question for you is this, your resume, what stands out most about it is winning. So I want to know from your side of it, <clears throat> what goes into being a winner? What is the quintessential thing that has winning follow someone around? Well, I, I mean, I think it's, um, I think it's all about having success as a team. I mean, the individual success, you know, comes on its own, but if, if you're committed to, um, you know, being there for your teammate and, and doing all the detailed parts of the game, um, you know, that individual success just kind of comes with it. And I, I think that's uh, the biggest thing I've learned over my career is when you're with a group that, you know, is, is uh, together and, and everybody committed to doing whatever it takes to find success, you know, individually, everybody does. And, um, you know, I, I think that's how I've tried to approach, you know, every team I've been on and every situation I've been in is, is you know, regardless – you know, being a contributor, but, but also having the, the team in mind and, and, and trying to do whatever it takes to, uh, to win games nightly. And, you know, that may not be uh, me scoring two or three a night, but it, it, it may be, um, you know, you know, blocking a shot or doing the little thing at the end of the game to, uh, to help ensure a win. So it, it takes everybody, it takes everybody in different roles. And I think um, you know, when you find that, or you have that, it, um, you know, it becomes uh, pretty fun to be a part of and um, it just snowballs. So, um, like I said, I'm looking forward to jumping in with this group and um, doing what I can um, to help us uh, try and win. I think uh, I think we'd all understand that you you downplay being away from your family um, in relation to some of the things that everyone else has been through with this pandemic uh, and, and the circumstances that you're in uh, in, in life. But it is, a, it is a huge sacrifice. Is this opportunity that's in front of you something that makes you feel that that sacrifice might be worth it now, given, given the way this season went? Because I would assume it's pretty hard to feel that way when you lose 17 games in a row and you're in a, a situation that's 
very difficult, obviously. Uh, yeah, we had a, I had a few moments on the, on the phone, um, you know, with my family back, uh, back home and, and, uh, you know, some tough times for sure. Um, you know, I've been, you know, with, with them, I have three boys, they're 11, nine and six, and, and they, they all play hockey and, and they all, um, you know, are busy with a lot of different things and, um, you know, they love, you know, having dad around. So when I'm, when I'm not around and, and going through some of the things that uh, went through over the last uh, couple months, it, it was for sure difficult, um, you know, but, uh, but, you know, it's part of, uh, part of playing this game and part of kind of life right now. So um, yeah, this is for sure uh, a new opportunity and, and, and an exciting time for, for me as a hockey player and um, you know, I'm going to try and take full advantage and hopefully, you know, as we move forward here in the next uh, time and, and um, I'd love to see us go, go on a run. We can uh, get my family up here to, uh, to enjoy uh, a game here at the bell center because there's no place better to play. Um, it's always been my favorite place to play uh, on the road uh, as a player. And now I get to, uh, to suit up for the home team. That's uh, it's pretty, pretty phenomenal feeling and I uh, just look forward to it. Chantal Maccabi, RDS. Merci beaucoup, Paul. Hello, Eric. Welcome to Montreal. Uh, you might play on the line with Corey Perry. You two are big guys, very skilled. Uh, what kind of chemistry do you think you could develop with them? Um, well, I, I've, uh, I've actually played a little bit with Perry before. Um, you know, I think at the Olympics, um, played with him and Ketsy for a few games. Uh, but You know, Corey, obviously, um, big, strong guy, loves to be around that, that net. And, you know, I, I think puck protection is very good. He's got great hands and, and good skills. So, um, you know, if I end up with him, you know, I, I think it's about reading the play, playing the offensive zone, um, you know, getting pucks to the net and, um, you know, using, using our D to our advantage and using our size and, and skills in front of the net to our advantage. So, um, You know, we'll see obviously where Dom um, sees a fit uh, for me and for, for the success of our group. But uh, Paris, is, uh, Paris is a great player. He's a winner. The guy's, guy wins wherever he goes, and um, there's reasons for that. So um, I'm excited to be able to, to join alongside him and, and the rest of the guys. And how did your family react to when you told them that you were traded to uh, Montreal? Uh, they were excited and, and also um you know, a little bit sad because they, they wanted to, uh, to come with, but, um, you know, they, uh, you know, they're excited to, to be able to tune in and, and, uh, and watch the Habs, um, here coming up. It's, it's going to be fun to, to see. And like I said, I, I hope, uh, you know, some of the restrictions lift a little bit more. So, uh, as time goes on and maybe they could, uh, come and, and, and check out, uh, you know, a game live, because like I said, there's, there's no place better to play. Marc-Antoine Godin, The Athletic. Uh, good morning, Eric. You were asked uh, earlier about what, what goes into being a winner. Uh, Marc Bergevin added in the last year a lot of guys that won the Stanley Cup. Obviously, you won a lot being a triple gold member. But having so many guys that won the Cup inside the same room on a day-to-day -day basis, what, what's the tangible effect of having so many guys in the same room that have gone through that? Well, I mean, I, I think, um, I think it's the understanding of, of knowing what needs to get done, whether it's a, a practice day or a, or a day off or a, or a game day. I think the, the, the focus is, is doing what's right for, for each individual to help the team have success. And I, I think, um, you know, as a younger guy, when I was a younger guy watching, um, you know, the Rod Brennamores, the, you know, Glenn Wesley, Ron Francis, um, guys ahead of me watching how they prepared, watching how they took care of themselves, watching how they competed in practice. Um, you know, I learned a lot, I think, um, you know, I've tried to emulate that over the course of my career and, and will continue to try and do that to, uh, um, you know, to, to help find success and help find team success. And I think, uh, as a young guy, you're always, you know, you're always, uh, eyes and ears are open. And, and, um, you know, I think when you have, 
a number of those guys in the locker room, it, it can only be beneficial, uh, especially for younger players. And, um, you know, that mindset is, is, is clear and understood as far as what it takes. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's exciting to be a part of this group for sure. For me. Yeah. And, and what, um, I guess the, the transmission of that experience must be very, uh, different from, from person to person, they, they, everybody got their own style, you know, using your experience and, and helping out youngsters like, uh, Luke Coonan in Minnesota or Dylan cousins in Buffalo. Uh, what's, what's been your experience of, of doing that and paying it forward and to a certain extent? Yeah. I mean, for sure. I mean, I, th I think those are, probably questions you'd have to ask those guys, but, um, you know, as a teammate, you know, I, I always just try and, um, um, you know, throw a tidbit, uh, here and there, if, if I felt the, felt like the time was right or, or, um, or, or talked, uh, at a different moment, if I felt like something needed to be said, but, um, for the most part, it's, it's about, um, you know, preparing individually, uh, the best you can to, um, to help the team find success. And I think, um, you know, when you're a young player, you're, you're always watching, especially, you know, I know I did, uh, watched guys that, you know, had long careers and had a lot of success because, Hey, I wanted to, I wanted to do that. I wanted to play over a thousand games. I wanted to be in the league as, as long as I could. And if, if uh, Rob Brittimore is doing this and that, um, Hey, it's worked for him. So I, I think, um, you know, you, you learn, um, as, as your career moves on. And I think, uh, you know, for me, it's about, uh, doing what I can do individually to help the team find success. And, um, when there's moments to, you know, chat or questions are asked, um, you no, know, always happy to share and always happy to, like you said, pay it forward. Well, that's it, Eric. Uh, no more questions for you. So thank you very much for doing this. And uh, we'll uh, let you enjoy your quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> to see you soon. Yeah, looking forward to it.